All right, this is going to be part two of our problem dealing with the logistic equation. And again, here we had a problem with biologists stocking a lake. So in part A, which we've already done, we figured out a, a formula for the, uh, um, uh, for the population at time t. We said the population at time t was 10,000 divided by 1 plus 19 times 17 over 57 raised to the t. In part B, we just want to know how, how long this population, how long will it take before the population of fish reaches 4,000. Well, to do part B then, all we have to do is just plug 4,000 into the left side and then set it equal to our equation and simply solve for T. So, just a little bit of algebra at this point. Um, again, I'll probably do the same thing. I'm just going to divide both sides by 10,000. So 4,000 over 10,000 will give us, I just believe, hey, 4 tenths. And then we have uh, 1 over 1 plus 19, 17 over 57 raised to the t power. Um, let's see, 4 tenths, that's really 2 fifths. We can even reduce that a little further. Um, and now I'm just going to take the left side and flip it, so that'll become 5 halves. If we take the right side and flip it, we'll just get 1 plus 19 times 17 over 57 raised to the t. We can subtract 1 from both sides, so 5 halves, 2.5 minus 1 will give us 3 halves, equals 19 times 17 over 57 raised to the t power. Um, again, to get rid of the 19, we can just multiply both sides by 1 over 19. Alright, so that's going to give us 3 over 38 equals 17 over 57 raised to the t. And now at this point, uh, we'll just throw in some logarithms to, to help bring that exponent down. So we can take the natural logarithm of the left side. I'm going to take the natural logarithm of the right side. Okay, not going to do much of anything here on the left side just yet. Um, remember the whole point of doing this, hey, the t can come out as a coefficient, nice property of logarithms. And let's see, so now we can divide both sides by this natural logarithm of 17 over 57. So we'll get our solution to be the natural logarithm of 3 over 38 divided by the natural logarithm of 17 over 57. And that's going to be our value for t, but I don't know. Let's. Uh, I'm going to figure out some better values. I'm. I'm pretty slow with the calculator, but let's see here. So three divided by thirty-eight. Um, I'm getting. I'm going to approximate this. So now I should put some little squiggles in here because I'm going to start rounding. So this is point zero seven eight nine. Um, I'll round off to five. It looks like. Let's see. Seventeen over fifty-seven. So I'm getting here uh, 0 0.2982, let's do one more digit, I'm going to round up to 5, um, again I guess we're really approximating here. I'm going to go ahead and take the natural logarithm of this bottom number because it's on my screen. So if I take the natural logarithm of this, I'm getting negative uh, 1.2098. Uh, again, I'm going to round up to 4. And let's see, the number on top, 0 0.07895. If we do the natural logarithm of that, I'm getting negative 2.5389. Uh, One more, it looks like a 4. And now we can simply divide these two numbers. So if we divide uh, 2.538. 894, okay, we've done the hard part at, at this point. I typed it in wrong. 2.53894, and we'll divide that by 1.20984. I'm getting the value 2.0986 years, which is probably a little more accuracy than we really need. So. It says it's, it's going to take a touch over two years for this fish population to reach 4,000. Okay, and uh, 
that's it. So, all right. I hope this video makes some sense and helps you out out there. Um, as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them.